food, religion, and the arts, matzah and music. Today, we are going to talk about the Jewish holiday of Passover. Passover, or Pesach as it's called in Hebrew, is one of the most important and most celebrated Jewish holidays. Passover is a celebration of spring and of the Israelites' journey from slavery to freedom. One of the main events during Passover is a big dinner called a Seder. Families get together to eat a meal together and tell the Passover story. At a Seder, there's a special plate of food on the table called the Seder plate. All of the foods on the Seder plate are symbols that represent a part of the Passover story. This story takes place a long time ago, back in the times of ancient Egypt. Back in Egypt, there was a king named Pharaoh. Pharaoh had made all of the Jewish people slaves. The Israelites worked all day in the hot sun to build pyramids. The Jewish people suffered and were badly mistreated. The leader of the Jewish people was named Moses. God told Moses to ask Pharaoh to free the Israelites. So Moses went to Pharaoh and asked him to let my people go, but the Pharaoh refused. So God sent ten plagues to punish Pharaoh. After every plague, Moses asked Pharaoh again to let my people go, but Pharaoh still refused. The ten plagues were blood, frogs, lice, wild animals, sick animals, boils, hail, locusts, darkness, and the death of the firstborn. Finally, after the last plague, the Pharaoh decided to let the Jewish people go. The Jewish people had to leave quickly. They walked until they got to the sea. But the Pharaoh had changed his mind, and the Jews saw the Egyptian army coming after them. Then, God opened up the sea for the Jewish people to cross, and it closed before the Egyptians could get through. The Israelites were free! Matzah is a special food eaten at Passover. It is kind of like a cracker. It symbolizes that when the Israelites left Egypt, they were in such a hurry that there wasn't time to let the bread rise. Eating matzah is another way to remember the Passover story. During the week Passover is celebrated, Jewish people do not eat any grains or foods that have risen. This includes bread products and baked goods and anything that would rise in an oven. For our art activity, we're going to learn a song that people sing at Passover seders. It's called Dayenu. Dayenu means, it would have been enough in Hebrew. The song thanks God for all the things he did to help the Israelites gain freedom saying that even one of those things would have been enough. Passover brings together family and friends to remember the story of the Jewish people being freed from slavery. Food is a very important part of telling and remembering the Passover story. What about you? What stories are important to you and your family? How do you tell those stories? Yerushalayim.